Hey the moment friends, ending here for another episode of the epic story when we last left off. We are getting ready to go into the glittering caves. And that is what we are doing right now. And man, these places are amazing every single time. I cannot get over this. Absolutely beautiful in here. Just fantastic. They did such a great job designing these. I mean, it's unreal just how great they did. We'll see even more coming up, but, uh, wow. Absolutely crazy. And the scale is just fantastic. Alright, we need to now find Gimli in the Glittering Caves. So that is what we shall do. We should be able to mount up. I don't know. Anyway, we are super duper uber close to our next level. We just need 1,300 XP. And then we will be on our way. Looking at the map, don't help you a bit. Alright, we're getting ready to get to a pretty cool spot though. Oh, just so cool. It's such a great job in here. Just the, it's amazing how big this place is. You have found Gimli. He seems tired, but is otherwise healthy enough. Here's all the road here. I'm Look around you, my friend. Have you ever seen such a place? Hiramir spoke at great length of the fields and grasslands of this kingdom, but he failed to speak of its greatest wonders. See how the cavern shines in the half-light? With a dozen of my people I could fashion such delights from the walls and ceilings that it would steal the breath of even Legolas, or any of his kin. But there is little time to admire the sights. There is fighting to be done. Those who are not warriors shelter now in the cavern. And we must protect them, or none else will. Speak to me when you are ready to join the battle once again. We must make safe these caves before the next attack begins. Come with me and we will ensure that the safety of this cavern is no phantom. All right, let's go. Instance time. Do not be blinded by the beauty of the glittering caves, my friend. We must see to the safety of the folk that shelter here. The natural beauty of this place takes my breath away, Staff Teng. But we have an important errand here, and we cannot stop with our mouths agape. Let us proceed and ensure that nothing lurks to threaten the folk that shelter in the caves. This way, Staff Teng. We must make safe this cavern. Alright, Gimli. Did you hear that? There is something ahead of us, I am sure of it. Who goes there? She's an elite, okay. The small girl waves off your injury, dismissing your question with a toss of her hair. There is no time to talk. My mother is with the other folk of the Westfold, hiding in the cave. But I hear something back here, and came to see what it was. Do you know what I found? She looks around quickly, and then she says in a hush hushed whisper, Villains! Villains from Dunland! We must be getting near the shelter. These folk do not look alarmed. What are they doing here? Stuff thing. Do you desire so badly to die at my hands? Why else does your path so often cross with mine? I love this part of the epic story. Lou Brennan coming back at this point was so great of a decision. I absolutely love that. And just the betrayal and all the feelings coming back. It's crazy. We come once more to face to face, Staff Tech. And once more you find yourself overmatched. Before you stand the finest of my warriors. And I the strongest of them all. None know the high mountains, paths, and deep tunnels as well as the Hobluch. And we have put that knowledge to good use. I have been promised a king's reward by my ally Saruman for the death of Rohan's people. 
and you will not stop me. I know it's women and children shelter in the caves behind you. And my force of loyal falcons will kill any they find. You think to stop me with such allies as I see before me? A single dwarf and one child. And hairball. I do not know these others. I am Gimli, son of Glowin, but that is no concern of yours. If you creep into the caves do, to do harm to the folk, it is my axe you will meet instead. <laughs> Dwarves. Who is this blustery man, Stafteng? He is no friend of yours, and that makes him no friend of mine. I do not like his words or his tone. Let us teach him not to ally with the wizard, with wizards who cannot tell the difference between good and evil. I thought to find these caves filled with unarmed horse folk, but the present your presence changes nothing. Kill them, my warriors, then you will have your prize. The talons of the falcon will take your life. Die. I can fight. Oh my goodness, we are hurting. Come on, Bane Flare. Hey, level up. Oh, it should be much easier. I am ashamed to call you Herblich. Fight on. buddy. You fight like boar, not falcons. These are my warriors. Over here, man, I have something to tell you. You can do it, Staff Deng. I know that you can defeat this villain. Stand strong for Rohan and for Theoden King. The girl knows nothing of Lou Brennan's treachery in Dunland, but her belief in you, combined with the Falcon Clan's crimes, result in restoration of your morale. I believe in you. You can best this villain. Alright, well, let's get rid of all this other stuff. Search for sign of survivors outside of Isengard. Um, Nanigans is here. Farmer's Fair. And Wildermore is still popping up as well. I should not have never have let you leave Tal Mathradis alive. Now I will remedy that mistake. I will do myself what my warriors could not. Alright, buddy. No, no, no. No, no, no. You strike hard, but it will not be enough. I want to fight. I am almost taller than you, Tor. That is really cool. Alright. You have become stronger, Staff Day. Okay, he's only at 30,000 this time. That's much better. I don't know why they do the split morale personality, but, you know, whatever. You will not win. Take this! Oh my goodness. Gimli. 
Not the beard. Liu Brennan's breath is coming now in fits and gasps. But still, he remains strong and defiant. How many of your friends have to be slain? Have I slain, Staff Teng? I will not stop now. I will continue until none remain. Saruman will pay me a sum worthy of a dragon's hoard for the favor. It is the end for you, Staff Teng. That wasn't nice. You shouldn't stun a lore master. All stun human return, Lou Brennan. Brennan. He's still coming at us. A really long fight. Kind of, this kind of exemplifies the uh, problem with epic battles, is it just goes on way too long. I mean, it's a nice epic moment, and the first time I did it, it was great, but on replay, it's just not. <laughs> Over here, man, I have something to tell you. This man is less than a worm, Staff Teng. He is no man at all, but a thrall of Saruman's, thinking only of his reward and caring nothing for anyone. Not for the people of his tribe wh with whom he should have a bond, nor for my people, who have done him no wrong. I will not let him but threaten my family or my king. Well, done him no wrong is relative. This is for all you have done, villain. No, wait, listen. Liu Brennan, leader of the Falcon Clan, has finally paid for his crimes. I do not mourn his passing. He thought to do much evil. Even the children of Rohan fight against their enemies. When pressed, it fills my heart with pride to see it. For a child under the mountain would do the same. I am impressed. Already I engage in competition with Legolas. Need I now wager with this child as well? <laughs> no one threatens my land, my king, or my family, man. Any villains who do had better run back to their wizard masters. Let us return to the folk who shelter in the glittering caves, Thapte. We will make sure this child reaches them safely. Or perhaps she will ensure we make it safely. That is awesome. Love this quest. One of my favorite in Volume 3. I do not like that there are tunnels through which our enemies can pass. But we cannot seal them. If the battle turns ill, we may need to bring as many folk as we can through those passages and out of the caverns. At least we will have dealt with one threat. But on this night, I will not be surprised if three more dangers leap to take the place now vacated by this one. Very true. The battle will soon be upon us! Um, yeah, that's better. The battle will soon be upon us. We must protect the folk and shelter here, or I will bring shame upon my name, that of my father and of my king. The orcs and the wild men have no place defiling this magnificent cavern, Staff Teng. Let us cast them out and send them howling back to their wizard master. All right, to participate in the battle, do all the other stuff that they already told you ahead of time. All right, well, I think that that is a good place to end this episode. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching another episode of the Epic Story. When we return, we will make our way into the final two epic battles, but that's not till next time. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of the Epic Story. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high-quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.